So hello guys, so I ported a Virtual Boy emulator to the RG350, the RG280 uh, and so on and I managed to make it run quite smoothly so uh, let me show you uh, by the way this is not overclocked, this is on the stock speed and this is the Bella firmware, not the stock one which is quite terrible if I'm honest so uh, then this is Royal Land and it also does look nice thanks to the IPU uh, despite the fact of course it is distorted so the aspect ratio is not the same and this it also sounds uh, okay so it so it, like you won't have like a uh, because uh, it runs smoothly so I believe the, the frames keeping well it's automatic actually but I think it's set to either 2 or 3 right now Oops. Uh, so yeah, let me show you the safe states. They do work. So let me save something. Oops. Uh, so as you can see, they work. Let's try in another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. So, uh, yeah, it's quite a better quality right now. So you can set like the frame skipping, for example. There's no triple buffering, nor V-Sync. Although it does uh, set the refresh rate to 50 Hertz. So just like the real console. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, thanks to the beta firmware, and the new compiler it does actually quite uh, run smoothly on it so I'm quite happy about that I might release uh, another version later which should fix some issues for so for example uh, yeah I mean there's this bug right here and there's also the fact that the second D-pad is not uh, mapped right now and that's because I couldn't find an input test for the uh, Virtual Boy and uh, I didn't want to bother like playing a, a real game and find out uh, to what it was mapped to so right now you, you will just have the basic buttons which is used by most games So if you watch this video later, uh, some of the issues that you will see here uh, might not uh, exist anymore. And also, I also tried Wireland, but I'm pr pretty confident that uh, the other games will also work fine. Uh, there's the issue though that, that the other games might not run smoothly on it, and unfortunately that if that's the case, then I can't do much about it. Uh, but fortunately, there should be some um, new optimization on the way. So right now, it doesn't attempt to patch the idle loops, for example. And that's because the uh, LibRetro R core, so this is based on the LibRetro core, uh, they didn't actually implement that feature and I found out that it was uh, I believe later removed from Mendafen or, or I couldn't find any evidence that it was attempting to patch the games to remove the idle loops again so unfortunate but uh, hopefully this should um, uh, well 
Ja. So yeah, it does run smoothly, as you can see. And you can also uh, increase the overclock if your console does support it at, le at least. So right now, uh, this speed, uh, very few units can achieve it, and mine certainly can't. So um, I can only go as far as this. And some people cannot even go beyond the stock speed, which is this one. And it doesn't make a huge difference on this emulator, but for a uh, VBA next, which is another DBA emulator which I worked on, it does make a difference. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So yeah, thank you and bye.